Hello there, my name's Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers, and today we got an awesome product in by Wahoo. This is a brand new product. It's called the Wahoo Kicker Headwind. It's a fan that can be controlled by your heart rate, can also be controlled by speed, or you can set it manually. So what I'd like to do is just do an unboxing of the fan, and then we're gonna dive into it a little bit more detail as I set it up on the bike. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up the box. So inside the box, we got, uh, looks like a manual. So we have the quick start guide. I'll just put that to the side. And then some fitness instructions. And then we just have some cardboard. So just move this out of the way. And not much else in the box here. It's just the fan itself. So the cord on the back side here wraps around so you have something to wrap it around. This is actually designed to mount onto the Wahoo desk. I actually broke my desk down so I won't be able to show you that, but it does have two settings. So you can set it sort of, looks like straight out or you can have it mounted and so it angles up. So that's what it looks like. And then on the front here, it has some, it has a power option and then uh, speed settings. And then what we're going to be able to do is use the Wahoo application to control it um, and probably set it up how we want, either maybe based on heart rate or based on cadence. Not sure at this point, but once I set it up, I'll sort of walk through that. Um, but it looks pretty cool. And then the intakes for the fan are on the side here. With a lot of fans, what you have is you'll have the intake coming in from the back. So I have some of these old antique fans and all the air comes in from the back side. Um, this one actually comes in from the sides. So everything else looks cool. It has a little handle here that you can carry. So, and it's super light, it's plastic. Um, so it's not like it's a, a metal fan or something like that, that maybe would last a hundred years, uh, but uh, it looks pretty sturdy. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it up and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I hooked it up. Um, unfortunately, my room where my bike is, I tried setting the camera out there and it's just too cramped to really get a good uh, sense of the fan. And so I just wanted to have it out here. So the way it works is you're gonna hook up the fan to the Wahoo app. So if you don't have the Wahoo app, you're gonna be downloading that. Once you download that, you will be able to sync it up to the fan via Bluetooth. And then once it's synced up and everything's good, it will show up in your sensor, uh, save sensor list. And then you can set this fan how you want it uh, to act. So you can either, so I'm just gonna go in here. So I have my headwind and you can set it by heart rate. You can set it by speed and you can also set it on manual control. So if it's set to heart rate, there's a little, um, it's hard to see, but there's a little blue flashing light it says heart rate on here. And then if I set it to speed, there'd be a little blue flashing light over speed. Otherwise, if I set it to manual control, um, it will have a little blue light starting here. With manual control, you can control it on the fan itself. And by just pressing these, it has four dashes. So this is at the highest setting right now. And then I can just go back down to the lowest setting. At the lowest setting, um, they have it at 25% in the application, but I could set it to say 35% or 40%. So it looks like you can actually control it even more through the app than you can through uh, the interface here. Um, so if I wanted it in, instead of 50%, I could set it to 55, 65%. So it'll blow a little bit harder than maybe on setting two here. Um, if I set it to the heart rate, what it's gonna do is it's going to um, look out for the heart rate monitor. So if you have a heart rate monitor by Wahoo um, and it will connect via Bluetooth, um, it will send that to the unit. And you set it based on minimum and maximum heart rate. So right now I have a, a minimum fan speed of 90 beats per minute. And then once I hit 170, then that would be the maximum. Um, my max is pretty low, so I would probably wanna go to about 150. Um, and probably my minimum would probably be like 80. My resting's really ro low, it's under 40 usually. Um, that's just my heart rate. Um, for speed, 
you, you can set it again at the maximum and minimum. And so with this one, it's currently set at five miles an hour for the minimum fan speed and then 30 miles an hour, but those can be set however you want, which is sort of cool. And then you have manual control again. And so you can set it based on that. So when you're doing a workout, it looks like when you first start out, the manual control, it hits it at 25% and then goes up by, at least on here, it's probably 25%. So if I move this, see if it shows it. Yeah, so in the app, it shows it as 50%, then 75%, and then 100%. Um, and it's showing it as I'm moving here. So it's pretty cool. And since it is Bluetooth, anytime you're using the Wahoo app, it will check to see if there's a firmware update on the fan, which is really nice. Now, again, just getting back to the positions that the fan can be in. Um, if you don't have, say, the Wahoo desk or anything like that, um, I would probably just set it like this. But if you do have the desk, you can angle these legs backward and then it will rest on the desk and blow up for you. And it looks like there's these little roller wheels. So it does roll a little bit. There's just plastic. Um, and so it will roll just a little bit. It's, on the wooden floor, it's not that great, but uh, it would probably have been nicer to have some better wheels on here, something like a roller blade wheel. These are just sort of cheap plastic wheels. Um, it's not that cool, but Oh, well, I guess that's how they save money to make it uh, more affordable. Uh, the, it does retail for $250. Um, I will be playing around with this and I'll let you know if I, uh, what I think of it after I start using it. But uh, so far it looks pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll have more products like this hopefully. And also check out gearmasters.com. I will have a write up on the headwind. Uh, and so I'll go into as much detail as I can in the write up. So thank you so much and have a great day.